We are here on beautiful Nauset Beach. It is very cold outside. About uh, 26 degrees. Fortunately, not too much wind. A lot of nice structure out here. Saw some birds diving. I may actually take a cast for fun. But we are out at the Montclair, which is once again being revealed even more and more by the day. I can see a whole new section. And here's your original fracture point, which seems to... Um, seems to be getting worse and continuing to break but when we get under here we can see that this is actually wow very cool I think this piece is just upside down nice jump auto very cool I had the privilege yesterday of giving a presentation at the Buzzards Bay Anglers Club December meeting, and we talked all about structure and fishing Nossa Beach, and there's really some great examples right here. I was talking about my favorite structure, which is crisscross waves. And you find kind of triangular bars that stick out, and as a result, you get this crisscross. So it's important you come out here in the low tide during the daytime and take a look at the structure that you have. And at night, you got to remember to come back to these spots right here. And these little lines will be big breakers on a strong incoming tide. And that's where you'll find your bass. Maybe not on December 15th. But there's also a beautiful bar down there you can probably see. Might be fishing the sides of that. And of course, as the tide changes, the uh, currents change in terms of how, far, how fast or strong it's pulling north and south. So different parts of the bar will be more or less productive as the tide changes. But this here's the Montclair, part of it. Ran up on March 5th, 1927. As written in the book, The Outermost House by Henry Beston. We spent a year out in the Folk Castle, the uh, camp several miles north of here. Otto, do not pee on that, please. Again, this is just one part. I don't really know too much about boats, so I can't really touch it, tell you much about the uh, construction. But from what I, other people who know more than I have said is that this is the bottom of the top deck. So this would be the inside ceiling, these knees here. There's lots of old iron still in here. Very cool. These dunes are huge now, or again, that's how they were a long time ago, but this ship being here has really created some interesting uh, ebbs of water around it at high tides, and as you can see by all the grass right behind Otto, unfortunately we've lost probably six or ten feet of beach. focus on these pieces here. I just feel as if this piece should be fairly identifying to somebody smarter than myself as to what this is all about here. And it's got an interesting taper. It starts out skinny. And it widens as it goes down. Looks like a wedge of some kind. Very cool stuff. But another wonderful day here on the beach with King Otto. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And happy holidays.